one was formed 25 years ago. So this is our Seva Jubilee, uh, we can say celebration because we have uh, come so far and uh, trying our best to uh, work for our communities and uh, especially the, the, the women and children. So what I can say is it can be a word called resilience. That's uh, what our organization became. We can stand for our people, our women. Uh, we can uh, transfer their voice uh, to be heard by the international community. And also we train and we empower the women to become a leader and to take part in all uh, level of decision making. On the other hand, we also uh, stand for the Shen community along the Thai Shen border uh, for our children uh, to access to the education. <laughs> Well, I think the most important thing with um, the Shan Women's Action Network is it's just, it's just given the women, uh, not only Shan women, but I would say women in Burma in general, a voice. And that is quite important because if we look at the history of the Shan movement, it's mainly been an armed struggle and therefore predominantly male. But now the women have come up and expressing their views and organizing everything themselves and doing, doing it extremely well, I must say. Because they work in the Shan community here in uh, Thailand in exile and uh, until before the coup in 2021, also inside uh, Shan State. And they're part of society. They're a very influential civil society organization. They do a lot of work, educational work, and um, you know, awareness, uh, spreading awareness of the, uh, the issues which are important. So, yeah, they're a very important organization.